Among the plethora of advantages of a plant-based diet, one of the most beneficial has to be productivity. In this video, I'm going over a few studies that link a plant-based diet to productivity and how you can use this information to better improve your life. Hey everybody, it's Cole Hastings back with another video. If you're new here, this channel is all about building your body and mind through a plant-based diet as well as personal development topics, so consider subscribing. Let's go over the first study. Basically, all these studies are on improving your mood and when you improve your mood, you improve your energy levels, you make them higher. So this study took 138 healthy men and they were either on an omnivorous diet or a vegetarian diet. Most of these diets are vegetarian diets, but it just goes to show how much removing meat and poultry and fish can do to improve your mood and performance. And they asked them a variety of questions from questionnaires and they found that the vegetarians reported significantly less negative emotion than omnivores as measured by both mean, total, DAS, and POM scores. That's the test that they had them take. And this is even with vegetarians having lower EPA and DHA levels, these omega-3 fatty acids, which are supposed to help your brain a bunch, which they do. But even with lower levels, you can see that these vegetarians had improved mood states, which is gonna lead to more productivity. Now this next study relates to antioxidants and antioxidants have been proven to decrease depression symptoms. So in this study, they measured a lot of complicated things, which I don't know exactly what all they are, but I do know that they measured the antioxidant status and inflammation statuses. So basically what is linked to having more antioxidants and having less risk of a cardiovascular disease. And they found that this plasma AA, which is these antioxidants is significantly higher in the vegetarians than in the omnivores, and they were also lower in these cardiovascular risk inducing things, which I still don't know what they are, but I do understand the study. Now these next few studies were extremely surprising to me and made a lot of sense, so I do highly suggest you stick around for these ones. This one had omnivores actually restrict their fish and poultry and meat intake. So what we've looked at so far is vegetarians, like strictly vegetarians, but not omnivores, then restricting the stuff that they usually eat. So what happened? Out of the three groups, the ones that kept consuming meat, fish, and poultry, the group that consumed fish but not meat and poultry, and the vegetarian group that avoided all of the stuff, they gave them the questionnaires and what they found that mood scores were unchanged for the omnivore or fish participants, but several mood scores for the veg participants improved significantly just after two weeks. This next study is a meta-analysis of a bunch of different studies and it basically just shows what diets are linked to depression, less or more of it. So the healthy diet pattern was significantly associated with reduced odds of depression. And in the conclusion, they note that this healthy diet pattern was high intakes of fruit, vegetables, fish, and whole grains. So fish is still in there, but as we saw with previous studies, reduced fish intake could be linked with lower symptoms of depression. So a higher intake of these fruits and vegetables and whole grains will lead you to have a better mood. I find this last study just awesome because it's taking people who are on these omnivorous diets in a workplace, they had people in their own workplace. They said, hey, we're gonna take you, we're gonna put you on this plant-based diet and see how it affects your performance, your mood, and your productivity. And here is what happened. The vegan group reported improvements in general health, physical functioning, mental health, vitality, and overall diet satisfaction compared with the control group. So you hear that employers? Get all that crap out of your cafeteria, replace it with some healthy plant-based foods, and maybe, just maybe, you'll see an increase in performance from all of your employees, which will make you money. Now, one of the most important questions you should ask yourself, how should I use this information? Well, if you aren't already vegan, I suggest slowly reducing the amount of meat and poultry and fish that you eat. I don't suggest going full on vegan right away. That can lead to a lot of bad symptoms from many different people and from my experience as well. 
I think it should be a gradual process because your body really has to get used to this physiological change. It's so used to eating all of this meat and dairy and fish and stuff like that. It's hard to completely change your diet just overnight, so I don't suggest that you do that. For those of you who are already plant-based and have been for a while, that's awesome. I commend you highly for taking on something like that. But if you already are, just make sure you're eating a wide variety of high carb fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, all of this stuff. Don't restrict any of these types of foods. You need all of them in order to thrive on a plant-based diet, which is also helpful to those of you who aren't even vegan yet. Make sure there's a ton of variety in your diet and you will thrive like the people in these studies. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like for me. It helps out the channel a bunch. Share this with your friends who aren't vegan, who are depressed, who are feeling like they just need a change in their life. Share this and leave a comment telling me your best experience since going vegan. I will catch you all in the next video.